All right, hello, 各位观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看 Learn Chinese Now 的直播。So welcome everyone to Learn Chinese Now's live broadcast or 直播 I think that's the correct way around. Let me know if that is or not. I've got it written the、uh, normal way as well, just because the camera、uh, actually, you know, turns things around because I'm using the camera that points at your face、uh, on the. iPhone. What's this? Says、uh, says Dave.、Uh, someone. Oh, 你好 Left butt cheek says 你好你好 Uh, so this is our live broadcast or 直播 Um, so you guys who are watching this, why don't you just tell me, are those characters written the correct way around? Because I just want to know whether my phone's camera is flipping the video around. So if you see that the correct way around, tell me. If not, I've got it written the、uh, wrong way around there. Fabio, where the hell have you been? Sorry, guys.、Um, well, instead of saying that, so yes, this is the correct way around now, right? Jubo,、oh, yes. it is, huh? Okay, all right. My wife just said it from、uh, from watching on another phone. So if you learn even just one thing today on this live broadcast, sorry, this is a bit dirty here.、Uh, it was the only white bit of cardboard I could find.、Uh, if you learn only one thing today,、uh, you will learn the Chinese word for live broadcast, which is jubo. So zhu kind of means like、um, straight or direct. Like if you say zhu zhou, it means to walk straight, okay? Or yi zhu means like all the way, like yi zhu zhou or something like that. Anyway,、uh, it means straight. And then bo is the word for broadcast. So zhu bo is live broadcast.、Um, so yes, that is our word for the day. Zhu bo. We'll keep saying it. Um, um. 可是大家可能在想。Uh, 我最近为什么没有上传影片 ？So people are probably thinking, why haven't we been uploading to the channel?、Um, I thought this channel was dead. And yeah, to be honest,、um, it's been just because I'm too busy with other channels. So right now, my main channel is the Credit Shifu, which is、um, okay. Someone's just written Jufei. Yes, that means a direct flight. So you can see the same word Ju, and then instead of Bo, you would have Fei, like Feiji the Fei, as in airplane flying Fei. And Jufei means a direct flight. Anyway,、uh, so that's another use of Jufei. But anyway, so yeah, right now my main channel is the Credit Shufu. So if you、uh, want to learn how to improve your credit score、uh, or reviews of、uh, travel credit cards using points for business class, that kind of thing, you can check out that channel, the Credit Shufu.、Um, but yeah, basically it's been that I haven't really had time to do the Learning Chinese channel, Learn Chinese Now. So、um, basically, I am kind of thinking that we may do some live broadcasts. Uh, just because it's much easier to do,、uh, I can just do it live. Don't have to edit it, and we can pick one bit of vocabulary each week. So this week's word is "jubo," the word for live broadcast. I'm going to drum this into you guys' heads, so you're really going to remember it by the end of this video. Okay?、Uh, okay. Ethan says I've been watching a lot of the Learn Chinese channel. Thank you so much, Ethan. Thanks for watching our channal, even though we haven't been uploading so much recently or at all.、Uh, so we, it's kind of funny. We've gone from like 40,000 subscribers. To 107,000、uh, in the time that we haven't been uploading, so people have been、uh, subscribing to the channel even though、um, we haven't been uploading.、Um, and also, I want to show you guys something. And also, I want to show you this to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed.、Um, but this here, this is actually our 100,000、uh, subscribers、um, silver play button kind of、uh, plaque thing. Um, so yeah, that basically that's it. Like you can see the reflection of my daughter's toys、uh, <laughs> in it.、There. But、uh, yeah, thanks so much, guys, for subscribing because it got us this. And、uh, I do want to try and upload a few videos、uh, to this channel. Maybe do a weekly live broadcast、um, and just focus on like one bit of vocabulary、uh, each week. For example, today's、uh, bit of vocabulary is "jubo" or the word for live broadcast. Uh, we'll do a more interesting one next time. But actually, if you guys in the audience watching this also,、um, if you want to ask any questions, I can start answering questions now. So Dave says, I thought your main channel was 老外看中国 So 老外看中国 is a foreigner's view of China. That is、um, one of my main channels.、Uh, certainly, it's the one that has the biggest amount of subscribers, five hundred thousand subscribers, and it's a very big channel in Taiwan. It's all in Chinese.、Um, the basically these channels, 老外看中国 and Learn Chinese Now. Uh, are connected with NTD TV. So uh, learn, um, La Wai Kan Zhongguo, a foreigner's view of China, is more directly connected, and it、uh, basically it's run by a TV station. And <laughs> you need a mic. Okay, sorry about that. I try and 
you know, very, be very careful with uh, moving the phone so I don't, uh, you know, make noise or whatever. So, um, yes, Lao Wai Kan Zhongguo is uh, Lao Wai Kan Zhongguo, a foreigner's view of China. That's the one we made it quite big with in Taiwan. Uh, this channel was sort of a secondary channel for teaching Chinese. Oh, someone says, is Chinese possible to learn? Well, yes, it, it, it definitely is possible to learn um, because it's, you know, I mean, I learned it and a lot of other people learn it, but I will say that it is more easy to learn if you are really interested in it. If you are someone who's just learning it for business, uh, because you're going to go on business to China, and you're not really that interested in the language, then I would say that it's actually pretty, could be pretty hard to learn. Someone says, hi from Ukraine. Hello, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so if you're really interested in the language and how the characters work and stuff like that, I would say uh, it is quite easy to learn. And uh, someone says, if you put in 2,000 hours, yes, it is. I think I've put in more than 2,000 hours now. There's a rule, actually. They say if you put in... 10,000, you need to put in 10,000 hours to be a master of something. I don't know if I've put in 10,000, but uh, you definitely do need to put in a lot of hours. I started learning Mandarin for fun. People think I'm crazy. Yeah, people will think you're crazy because it is uh, obviously, you know, the, the characters are kind of alien compared to, um, you know, English letters like the characters for Jubo or live broadcast, which is what this is. Uh, what is this? Oh, excuse me. What does this person say over here? Yeah, so are you in, well, we uh, were in Taiwan, I lived there for a year, and I live in the US now, and um, it's, uh, oh, Italy, can you touch our who? Thank you very much, so greetings from Italy, uh, that's awesome, thank you to our viewers in Italy, actually the Learn Chinese Now viewers come from all over the world, a lot of my other channels are localized in one country, I'm just showing you guys these things as well, this is kind of like my collection of Chinese uh, artifacts, uh, this one is uh, Jing Tai Lan, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, it's a type of uh, Chinese cloisonne inherited from my grandma. And then we have this, uh, you see this one. This is a jade dragon uh, kind of thing, also inherited from my grandma's collection of Chinese artifacts. Uh, very, very cool. I display them here. I try to keep it clean, but it always keeps getting cluttered with various things, you know. Uh, we have here two jade lions. Um, which were also kind of antiques from that collection. Um, this thing here, actually, this is from Taiwan, and it's a, an apple made of wood. And it's very special, because if you, if you take out the top of it, and then you smell it, oh, it's an incredible, like, if you could smell that, it's an incredible smell. It's a very aromatic, um, you know, kind of smell. A very special type of wood. Um, so, and then... We also have this one here, which is uh, another Chinese uh, Chinese bowl. What made you interested in learning Chinese? Someone says, who says that? Nice swords in the background. Um, learn Chinese, speak with it. What made you interested? <laughs> you are good. Okay, so what made you interested in learning Chinese? Well, I learned Chinese because I used to do a lot of Chinese Kung Fu, hence the swords. Later on, I got interested in kind of Buddhism, meditation, uh, and I ended up practicing Falun Gong, which is a Chinese meditation practice, a very wonderful practice. It makes your body uh, incredibly healthy, and it's uh, kind of clear the mind, and it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's through doing things like that that um, got me into uh, learning Chinese. Um, and so, yeah, that's why I started, and then I was doing it for a hobby, and then I thought, hey, I'll, uh, I'll, um, you know, I'll do it for uh, university, and that's what I did. Uh, so, are you the Credit Shufu, and what you inspired you to start that channel? So, yeah, we have another channel called The Credit Shufu, which is, um, a channel about, uh, how to improve your credit score, and the way I got started with that, that one, is, uh, that I, um... When I moved to the United States, I discovered that it's very hard to live here without a credit score. You get, you have to, you know, pay a huge amount of money to rent an apartment or, up, you know, upfront deposit or whatever. And so I started building my credit score, and I found a lot of information about it. And then I decided to make a channel about it. Uh, so Dave uh, says, "Ooh, not Falun Gong." Uh, I, Dave, I think you should uh, perhaps do a little bit more research on it. Uh, there's a lot of information out there from, you know, that's kind of like sponsored by the Chinese government, kind of propaganda about it, because after all, Falun Gong has been banned in China, and it is not a just thing that is going on there. There's a huge amount of human rights abuse going on in China. Uh, many religions are, you know, persecuted there. Right now, Christians have been targeted in China most recently, uh, but, 
I just know it's a bit taboo in the mainland. So yeah, I would encourage you to go and you know do some research on it yourself. Search it on Google in a country like the United States or the UK where there's no great firewall. And uh, do your own research on it and find out about it. Uh, but I can tell you personally that it is a wonderful practice, very good uh, for your health and uh, not like what uh, mainland China's uh, Chinese regime uh, is, is, would say about it. Um, so oh, someone says, did you do Chinese in university? Yes, I did. I did Chinese at the School of Oriental African Studies at the University of London. London Yuan. And uh, yeah, basically, it is, uh, I did modern and classical Chinese. So we did modern Chinese and we studied also classical Chinese. It's very interesting, one of my favorite topics. We did a lot of uh, Tang Dynasty poetry study of that, which is very, very cool. Uh, and that's, you know, where I got the kind of idea to um, put, uh, to, you know, to do some poems uh, in, uh, in our videos as well. What happened with Only in Asia? Well, yeah, only in Asia. It's a little bit of a sore, a little bit of a sore topic that one because I started that uh, kind of uh, when I worked uh, full time at a TV station which owns this channel and owned that channel. Uh, but that actually got cancelled. I, I really pushed for that. I actually wanted to start that channel about a year before it started, and I really pushed for it to be like a you know a funny show about viral videos coming out of Asia, and I thought there was a lot of potential there. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, just the business plan with these things, sometimes other people don't have the same view as you. And that's just life. You know, it's uh, it's a shame. We've actually, you know, it's off. It's offline now, that channel, unfortunately. Um, but this channel will be still online. And I am going to. yeah, 床前明月光. So uh, someone's quoting the first line of a classic poem. Oh, what is it called, actually? Yes, like think, uh, tri uh, thinking at night or something. I don't know from Li Bai, anyway, and uh, first line is Chuang Qian Ming Yue Guang. Um, and, and if you want to know about that poem, have a look in our poetry playlist on this channel. Um, so guys, uh, I want to wrap this up in just a few minutes. So I'll just take, I'll take maybe one or two more questions, but um, I just want to let you know that I am going to try and do some live broadcasts. And in each live broadcast, um, we'll probably think, uh, uh, we'll probably talk, uh, talk a little bit about one uh, piece of vocabulary. So if you had just joined this broadcast, today's piece of vocabulary was 直播, live broadcast, okay? 直 means like straight or direct, and 播 is the word they use for broadcast. So 直播 means live broadcast. Um, okay, let me just take a look at one or two more questions. How long to be conversational? Um, I would say if you study, uh, let's see if this person's studying pretty intense, Studying pretty intense in and out of China for about six months. Okay, so I would say if you study full time, um, you study for one year, then you're kind of ready to be able to have basic conversations, like you're not like like to communicate. Okay, so like you're not fully understanding what the person says outside of the specific vocabularies that you've studied. I'll give you an example. Like after I'd studied for a year, I was able to call up the the family that I was going to stay at in his homestay in Taiwan. And I was able to say to them, oh, hi, I'm coming today from Tokyo and I'm going to arrive in Taiwan at this time and I have this much luggage. Uh, I'll be at your house at whatever time, right? Uh, and, you know, I could understand them saying, oh, okay, yes, cool, we'll see you later. I couldn't understand any other, other things they said, right? So it's kind of like communicate, basic communication is like one year. And then after one year, you're good enough to be thrown in the deep end, right? And go to like China or Taiwan or wherever and be thrown into that intensive environment. And then I would say after living there for, for a year, so total study time, two years, but living in like a Chinese environment for a year, like just as I left Taiwan, I was like pretty much understanding almost everything people were, were saying in, you know, normal conversations. So, you know, uh, one year in the environment or, you know, maybe if you studied full time for a year, then you went for like six months to China, Taiwan, wherever. Uh, you would be probably conversational from uh, from that point on. What happened with your channel? You've been gone for so long. Yep, we don't really do. We don't really have the means to work on this channel full time anymore, or you know, often. But we're going to try and do some live broadcasts where we will teach you resume the channel with co-hosts. Your dynamic interaction. <laughs> well, we will try. We will try, guys. So we're going to do a few more live uh, broadcasts. So. Uh, don't unsubscribe. We will be focusing on different characters, uh, different words. For example, today's uh, 
Today's word was dribble, uh, the word for live broadcast. Where are you right now? We are in the United States, uh, close to uh, New York. Algerian girl says hi from the north of Africa. Thank you, and a big shout out to all our African viewers who are watching this. Um, all right, guys, so I'm going to end this broadcast uh, now. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and do look out for live videos that we will do uh, in the next uh, few weeks. Thank you for watching our show. Uh, 现在再见。